There was no question about it. This was a full-fledged firefight. The chorus of sounds alone told us that. The soprano notes of the MVA's 30 caliber machine guns, the baritone of the American M60 machine guns, the tenors of the dozens of AK-47s and Alto M16 rifles, combined with the percussion explosions of the violent high explosions of the mortars, rock-propelled grenades, and hand grenades created a tremendous racket. All this to their individual rhythm and cadence. And these were just the sounds of the tools of death and destruction and human misery. And there were human sounds, sergeants shouting instructions, bring the company up, lay down the base of fire, amidst the cries of pain and pleas for assistance. All this from 20 young soldiers taking back a hill they had secured two days before with a ferocious day-long firefight and held on to for 10 hours with nearly a dozen casualties and then walked off and let the North Vietnamese take it back. All this on a small hillside where all this action took place in an area no larger than the infield of a baseball team. All this from 20 young American soldiers who were either dead or wounded after just a few minutes of fighting.